Hey Donna, I'm back again. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're someone who's been here before, welcome to you and thank you for coming back. Today, it's charity shop haul and a jumble sale haul. If anybody's interested and wants to see what I've picked up. got quite a few bags, they're all a bit random order, but I'll try and sort them out to try and show shoes first and other bits and bobs afterwards. So I'm up nice and early because it's lovely, you can hear the birds, yesterday was so hot, yesterday was Saturday, it was so hot, I did go out charity shopping but I couldn't take the heat, the, I don't mind the heat as such as long as I'm indoors in the shade because I'm not a sun person, but I would just think people should wear deodorant, when it's hot like this there's no excuse, yesterday I was in the shop and this woman, oh god she hulked, the smell and you know when you get the smell up your nose and it's just there so yeah it should be made law and also what should be made law is men walking around with no tops on that should be made illegal because i'm not being funny but unless you've got a fit body keep your top on don't want to see it. the amount of young lads and older lads as in yesterday with no tops on it, it's not a good look it's like that program naked attraction Nobody wants to see naked bodies, thank you. <laughs> well, maybe some, oh, well, obviously some people do, but I don't want to see torsos when I'm out shopping. <laughs> I'll say, unless you're super fit. I mean, imagine if women walked around without the tops on. We're not allowed to do it, so if we're not allowed to do it, blokes shouldn't be allowed to do it. So, anyway, that's my little rant. So, oh, right, now I've decided, if anybody watched my last video where I had an item that the buyer had said had not arrived, it had been left in a secure location according to Hermes, but they hadn't got it. And I contacted eBay and eBay said they're just going to close the case. So this is within two days. Well, at the moment, the case isn't closed. It's still open. And they send me another email just to say, can I sort it? And I'm like, you said you were sorting it. But... Just went to see if I could contact them and it's really early in the morning and they're not open yet. So I'm going to refund the buyer because it's not fair on the buyer to have the grief. So I'm going to refund the buyer in a bit but contact eBay to ask them on their website, right? I don't use my laptop very often and these are the reasons why. Because I find eBay's website not very user friendly anymore. Sometimes I can't even find my selling page when, when I come to do my prints for me stuff that I've sold it's a mission to where's my selling page <laughs> you know and last time I did manage to contact Hermes via shuttle to with another item that went missing ages ago and I've just gone on there to try and find it again and I, I can't navigate around the page I want to refund the buyer but I also want to contact Hermes to say can you investigate or do something because you know my item's gone missing where is it ask your driver I can't even find it on the page so yeah it can't be just me I can't be the only person who can't find anything on there I just that's why I like using my phone my phone's nice and simple but laptop yeah I've, I've just had enough with it this morning so I've sent the buyer another message to say please can you check with your neighbours and any outbuildings that you've got before I take it any further so I'm just waiting to hear back from them but the def I'm just refunding them. I don't agree with eBay's policy of they've got to prove the item didn't arrive. I thought, yeah, really, that's going to go well. So anyway, that's my little moan. So my little moan of the weekend is please wear deodorant in hot weather. And guys, keep your tops on. Unless you're in your own back garden, that's fine. But in public... It's, it's not on really, we're not allowed to walk around with a top off so if we're not allowed to walk around topless, no review. So I'm going to sort these things out, try and sort them in some sort of order and back in a sec. So I've got my shoes ready, some of them I have researched, some of them I haven't, so so uh, yeah, so I'm not very organised but I'll just, I'll just show you what I've got, I mean if any of you recognise any of these brands and think that's a rubbish brand or that's a good brand, please let me know but Hopefully this afternoon I want to try and get all these on because I've got a few auctions ending today and some of the stuff is stuff that I got from Shopped, sh shopped from um, family around the corner actually. They were just selling bundles of stuff really, really cheap. So I'll show you, it, 
some the one item's got quite a few bids on some calculator thing dictionary calculator so i'll show that in a sales video and talk a bit more about the stuff i got from there yeah i nearly got bit by the dog as well and the little jack russell looked really cute but and it's not cute little little effer tried to bite me <laughs> you know one of them dogs that look all cute and you go and fuss it and it's not cute but anyway i've got some bargains that was worth nearly losing a hand so i can't where did i get these from they were from the charity shop because a four pound pair of pavers again new no. i've been like i say i've been really i'm trying to be really really good with what i buy now only buy things what i call higher brand so i have left quite a few pairs of clarks i've got some but I'm trying to pick up the Clark's ones which I can get either super cheap or are in really good condition. If they're just plain and they're like six pounds, I'm like leaving them behind and stuff like that. So ah, right, they I can never say this name. I can't I don't know if you can pronounce it because I can't pronounce it, but I had a pair of boots in this brand which I got up for sale, which are really, really nice by the way, if anyone wants to buy them because they still haven't sold. They're really lovely looking, not very comfortable. So, <laughs> honest, you didn't hear that from me. They are comfortable, they're lovely. So these, I paid £4 for them. They're in pretty good nick, just need the, the soles cleaned. I think those were from St Mary's. Uh, right, these, I can't remember where I got these from. Paddlers, padders even. Is it padders? They look new. I'm not quite sure. No, I don't think they're quite new. I think they've got a bit of grubbiness. But I can't remember where I got them from at all. I don't think they were from the jumble. But I can't remember where I got them from, but it could be all right. I'll have a pair of clocks here. These, why did I buy these? Oh, because they were only three pounds. Three pounds for these clocks, size five. They're quite posh, aren't they? They're not something you wear in a, if you work in an office or something, I suppose. So those are cheap, that's what I got them. Again, clocks, again, K clocks. They're brand new, look. Brand new, and they were. Four quid, four pound. They're not that nice, to be fair, but I, can't, I think they're blue. I can't. I don't know. They blue. After I spray them with something, I can't tell with colours. They should write the colours on them for people like me because I just can't tell what colour that is. So either blue or black. So the next item, shoes. I thought I'd organise them. These Joe Browns. Right, and these were. Do, do, three quid now the bloke in the charity shop that where i get these from is obviously he works there and he's obviously an ebay himself and it's one of them shops where they have a tablet at the front and you he's basically bringing stuff out and checking everything on ebay he does do the sold i've watched him so he checks everything on ebay first and does his prices by there so when i've bought and paid for these he's, t he's telling me he's already researched these and they're worth way more than three pounds and i'm like I know, that's why I bought them, <laughs> you know, but I kept my mouth shut because, well, because, yeah, it wasn't a good idea to say anything. So next are these, these are brand new again, these Clarks, who are these? Clarks unstructured again, I saw the pair of men's shoes with this thing on and the brand new look, brand new and now we're a fiver. They're quite nice, but with this, it's got an ink mark on there. See, somebody said use um, hairspray to get an ink mark off. So I'll try with hairspray. Hopefully I can get that off. Otherwise I'll have to... Oh, who's retired? I'm way up too early today. It's just, you know, when you get to that age now where you can't lie in. I used to wonder why old people got up so early. Now I know. Because if you lie in bed too late, you get a backache. So now I used to love my lies in. But now I'm literally, as soon as I wake up, all my side hurts here so i have to get up that's why i'm up at really early today <laughs> and right this is totally nothing to do with reselling i'm not doing weight watchers anymore <coughs> because i don't agree with it i've been we've been going every sunday for ages and the point system since they changed the point system to this new stupid healthy eating i was gonna say healthy eating rubbish it's not rubbish i know it's rubbish but before everything was pointed 
everything was pointed. So you'd have like a Mars bar pointed and an apple and banana pointed. Well, now they do all the fruit and the vegetables and all that. Zero points. But the nice stuff like cakes and chocolate and biscuits are all really high. So it kind of is trying to discourage you to eat from eating nice stuff. So I'm finding, right, by lunchtime at work, after I've had me sandwiches and me packet of crisps and everything, I've nearly used all my points for that day. And I'm supposed to be going to use me weekly points then. And then it's basically saying to me, right, well, all you can have next is egg, chicken, vegetables. I just, I, I know I'm moaning and I can under, I totally understand the logic behind it. They're trying to get people to eat healthy. But I said to the girl the other week when we went, I said, do you think you ever go back to the old style of Weight Watchers? And she said, no, because they're trying to promote healthy eating. So... I was with my sister the other day and I said, I don't think I want to do it anymore. I'm not sticking to it. And so we both give up. <laughs> yeah. And we was thinking of joining Slimming World again, but I didn't like that either. We paid 50 odd pounds for Slimming World. If you pay in bulk, you get a better deal. We went for two meetings and thought, no, nah, we don't like this. <laughs> so, so that was like, I might as well just threw 50 quid away. So anyway, I'll carry on. Next item is his fly, fly flop shoes. I don't know why I bought these for pounds. I think I was confusing them with something else. I mean, they are new. But I think I confused them with another brand that I thought was worth something. So, and I'll research them and then I, I think I, I'll be lucky to get four quid. But what have I got next? Right, these right, were a fail. These were from the jumble sale. Basically, my, how much are they originally? Was that six? 65 quid originally went to a jumble sale and i was looking at all the dvds and everything and my sister was with me and she the shoes were the other end and she bought these to me and says oh look vandal do you want me to get them for you like and i said oh yes please now i didn't think to look and obviously she didn't look as well but i just seen them like that well we both seen them like that they were a pound so when something's a pound, I, I'm not, I'm not going to cry over it. So they were only a quid, so I'll just re-donate them to the charity shop because they're all they're in pretty rough condition. But that, I'll just give them to the charity shop because somebody will have them, wouldn't they? So yeah, so they were a quid. I Obviously, that's a lesson learned in it. Check. I normally do check, but I think I'm so excited to see a Vandal pair of shoes there like you know because i was looking at the dvds and cds which turned out to be a massive fail because i don't know why i bought loads of them nearly all i spent about eight quid on dvds and cds and that and because i couldn't scan them most of them i'll be lucky if i get my money back so i think i might put them in a job lot what have we got here oh another pair of shoes these are what i got from joy tweed yesterday look cost me 750 7.50 but the Russell and Bromley let me see and look at the condition they're in if they've been worn once that looks a bit dirtier on the camera than they do in real life Russell and Bromley 7.50 uh, those were the only pair of shoes I bought from there because it was a bit pricey oh yeah another pair of shoes oh no hang on I'll show you these first right at the jumble sale I spent uh, was it £8 on DVDs and CDs God knows why I also bought a teddy, which I'll show you in a bit. And then the, all the shoes. I bought another pair of shoes, which were probably ones. Oh, they might have been them paddlers ones. I think it might have been them. That's why they got no price on. And then I seen these weird looking pair of trainers, which were like the, the shoes were on a box in the floor and everyone was just chucking them everywhere. And these shoes were on the side. as if somebody just chucked them as if they didn't want them. So it says to the woman again, because I thought, well, they're going to be more than a pound because I knew. So how much these shoes? Should they're all a pound? So I was like, oh, okay. So I picked these shoes up, right? Thinking they're a bit weird looking, but they're brand new. Shoes trainers. So when I get home and was showing Liam what I got, apparently, and I've Googled it, they are. Look at the brand. I, think, oh, I don't know if you can see it. B-A-L-E-N-C-I-A-G-A-A. -A -A. I can't even pronounce the brand name. Can you see? I don't think you can see the brand name. There it is. Can you see? Liam said, they're designer. Are they? The full 
naughty oh, oh i don't know if that's meant to happen the soul thing is coming out of them so i'll sell them as uh, new with defects but as soon as i got them out the bag liam recognized them because where liam works there's a lot of um chinese students and he says all the chinese people wear them he said the designer and i've googled them and that and they are to buy them new i think they're about two three hundred pounds which is just mad money and i think somebody's got a pair on at the moment for 150 odd so i might put them on auction today they're not a very nice color though are they a lot army green but i can't that saved my day because i was really gutted about not being able to because there wasn't it was a jumbo sale but there wasn't much there so i was gutted that there weren't much there i mean they did have tea and cakes there to buy which were lovely why do they put so much sugar on their lemon drizzle cake really like lemon drizzle cakes but they put way too much sugar on the top which puts me off a little bit still at it but i don't understand the, why they pile the sugar on the top so anyway so these saved the day to do so proper chuff with them i was just, i just thought they looked weird and they were new that's the reason why i bought them and yesterday in wheelie castle i got these these shoes from now is it done or dune d-u-n-e the brand new boots the blokes obviously i'm a bit confused here because it says the size on there is 44 but on there it says 42 so i don't know if somebody's put the wrong label on but originally i don't know if you can see it 110 pounds but i paid where's the label gone i just fell off again seven pounds there was a sticky label that flew off and when i was packed they're brand new look Liam said he liked them when they come in, but they're not his size. I said, you can have them if they're your size, but they're not his size, too small. So soon when I paid for these, a woman says, well, I've only just put them out. She says, you, you've come at the right time, haven't you? And I'm like, yeah, I have. So £7 for them. And like I said, originally £110. It's madness, isn't it? I don't know where people get the money from to buy shoes at price. But Liam and Sully do. I'm saying that. I buy everything second hand and I but Liam and Sully are all into but in fairness they do look after their stuff especially the trainers and they keep them forever so that's all my shoes so I'm going to sort all my other bits out and be back in a sec with me other bits so now I'll show you like the plushies that I got I don't think they're worth that much but I forgot to show you these trainers when I was in the charity shop I fell for it they need a proper good clean when I was in the charity shop they were bringing them out from the back back room and they're about to put them in the basket and the woman there who like knows that I buy shoes and she's going oh do you want these do you want these two pounds two pounds and I'm like yeah okay then now the filthy they're not very good condition as such some of these little liney things have come off see like they come loose but Lena Lena who's Lena Liam <laughs> said that they ew, they are minky ain't they Liam said these are um, expensive trainers so see if you can clean them up you should get quite a bit but they're not in brilliant condition so I will clean them up and I'll put them on auction I think because I don't like I said they're not in brilliant condition but I think once cleaned up they might be all right ish <laughs> I put it, like I said I'll, I'll do that many photos they'll be sick of seeing them so what I got from the charity not the charity shop the jumbo sale was this because i wanted this because a few days before now this cost me a quid I, we didn't we couldn't remember his name well we thought it was a girl but you know when you can't remember um rainbow wasn't it couldn't remember it. for some reason i thought but it's called george the girl george who's pink is george a girl maybe george is short for georgina then for some reason we thought george was a boy but it's got to be a girl. Anyway, it's got to be in it. I just, yeah, it's got eyelashes and that. Unless it's a feminine bloke, I don't know. Anyway, the reason why we I got that for a pound was because I got CP the day before for 95p. So I thought I might bundle them together. I've seen somebody sold a new CP with a white, uh, not a white, a red, um, what do you call this? Robe. Was it about £15? I can't remember how much exactly, but I thought I might bundle them up together. George has got to be short for Georgina. 
that's in it. Let me know, but somebody tell me. Because we Googled it and had a look. And it said it was Bundle. Bundle Zippy George, wasn't it? Bundle. Bundle Zippy George. I may be wrong, I don't know. <laughs> somebody let me know. So I'll put them down there right the way. So, and then two separate days. The one day 95p I bought Chewbacca. And then I bought, I can't remember his name. But I thought I'd bundle them together and then I got confused. I thought, are they the same from the same, what do you call it, film? I said to Liam, he says, so these are the same. He went, no, that's a Chewbacca and that's a, did tell me the name. Is it Darth Vader or something? I can't remember. He says, yeah, but are they the same? And he's like, no, of course they're not the same. The two do. And I'm like, no. <laughs> are they from the same movie sort of thing? Star Wars, isn't it? Because I'm not really into movies and that. Well, Star Warsy movies. And he says, yes. So I thought, right, I'll bundle them up together. So they're going together. And also, I'm not quite sure why I bought this. I can't even remember how much I paid for it. It hasn't got the price on it. But it had all the labels on it. I think I scanned it. And it looked like it was worth a couple of quid. So I couldn't have paid much for that. So those are all the plushies. So I'll sort out the other stuff. And back in a sec. So this is the last lot. I'm finally coming to the end. This is books and DVDs. And there's something else, but I can't remember. <laughs> there's a few other little bits as well. So basically, the other day I was watching the YouTube video. I think it's actually Lex Oliver's video. And then advert came on first for Ziffit, which is oh, they buy your books and buy your DVDs and stuff. So I downloaded it. And what I'm trying to do now is use that as my guide for... If they're prepared to give me three pounds for something I paid 50p for, then happy days, I'll sell it to the, if it doesn't sell on eBay and Amazon, then they're having it. So I've been like basically doing that. I don't think I did it for this one. I'm not quite, I think I bought this this book. I think I paid 50p for this Simpsons book, which on Amazon, oh, I actually scanned this first, is going for like 15 pounds odd on eBay, not a lot at all. So this was before I use the the Ziffy scan. They seem to pay a bit more than um, Music Magpie and the other one, but I've never used it before. I've just been using it for scanning to see how much they're prepared to give me. If anybody's used them or got any dealings with them, can you let me know? Because I remember years ago, remember when people started to buy your old phones? Liam had his upgrade, so I sold his old phone and it was immaculate. There was nothing wrong with his phone at all. Like I said, Liam... He's very particular with his stuff. He looks after stuff really well. So I sent it off, all fine. Then you got I got an email saying, this is wrong with it, that's wrong with it. We can only offer you this or we'll send it back. So basically, they ripped me off. So my experience with We Buy Your Stuff, I mean, that's only one experience. You can't judge everybody. But if anybody's used any of these buying your books sites, can you let me know? Because I don't want to bag... Because I've got loads of DVDs and that that haven't sold. And when I've scanned them, they're going to give me like a quid for them. And I'm like, well, considering some of them I've only paid 20 odd P, if I can get a bit of money back, then brilliant. But I'm a little bit reluctant at the moment because I've no experience with them at all. I might just send a bundle of like a tenner's worth at first, see how I get on. So if this doesn't sell on eBay and Amazon, I'm going to see how much it's worth, how much they're going to give me. So, next item, another book, another weird looking book. I think 50p I paid for that. I think that's scanned. Is it going to see how much it's scanned on? See, this is what's. Oh, this it's my old phone. This is what I don't like now. How do I get rid of this? Right, get me scan on. Right, how do you get rid of this? How do you get rid of that bing? I don't like that bing. I think it's £7 odd. So it's not worth a lot, but I only paid 50p. I just, the binging needs to go. These were, what is it? It's 20, was it 20p? No, it's free for a pound for the paperback books. That might be why I bought that one because it's free for a pound. I can't remember. Anyway, so I didn't pay a lot for these. They sell for about three pound odd each, which isn't brilliant. But I thought I might bundle them up. They just look weird. I thought they look weird because they're kind of like backwards look. Look backwards. Very strange backwards books. See, the back is the front and the front is the back. So I got them. Next thing I got, these were £1.95 each. That one's not worth that much. But this one is 
worth quite a bit. I'm going to let me scan it. Let's have a look. Let's hear the lovely ding. I can't remember now. I should have done screenshots. That is, let me know, it was more than I thought. Look at them prices. $29.99. Are those of the new, are they? Condition, you, oh, there's only one you. One sold for £34. Thirty-four sixty-five for free postage. Paid one ninety-five. I know. I know. When I scanned it, I think I used the zip it, and I think they were going to pay about three pound. Also, I thought well, if you're offering me three pound, then it's worth more than three pounds. So that yeah, that's going on eBay. This scan, or on it scan. I'm going to bear with me a minute. It's not going to scan. Is it because it's got cellophane on? I can't get it to scan. Open all hours. Paid. Was that that would have been forty p because there's two in there. Why wouldn't it scan? It's not going to scan. Sorry, it's not going to scan. And this I paid a pound for Joni Mitchell, and that zip it. Nothing seems to be scanning now. On zip it, they were going to pay me two pound for it. Ding. So I thought, well, again, that can't be right. Pre-owned, twenty-seven pounds. Twenty-one pounds. If that's right, then hang on, let me look at the sold. Don't look at the what it's selling for. Look at the sold. Oh, £7.50, okay. But even so, £7.50 from a pound, it's only little. I don't know if it'll go in the um as a as I wonder if that'll go in an envelope. That'd probably go in an envelope, wouldn't it? So yeah, so cheaper postage on that, but I'm just so tempted to send everything recorded now not recorded um get a signature it's, it's not that often things go missing but i'm just a bit at the moment i'm a bit oh should i send it signed for pay an extra 80p but i'm a tight bugger so next item this cost me one pound fifty again checked it on i haven't checked it on ebay actually i just done this if it can only bought this friday so let's see what's worth on ebay boom it's heavy so this is Bruce Springsteen. There's none in UK. They're all Europe. Is the price so random in it? Thirty nine ninety nine, and then five pounds fifty eight, and sold. Any sold? One sold in New, um, America for thirty one pounds twenty three. So yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. The next one, right, this is what I got from Troy Twitch and I paid £3. Now the internet there was shocking. I couldn't get online. So I basically paid £3 and then eventually when the internet come on, it said that somebody got one of these for sale. I couldn't find any in sold or completed. But, hang on, let me see. I'm sure somebody's got one up for £30. Let me have another look. £35, brand new, this is brand new and sealed, so I don't really know if it's worth that, but pay £3, there's none in solds, so I don't really know what price, no, nothing is sold, nothing there, no, I don't know, I only paid £3 for that, next, uh, a broken item, right, the, another bop it, it all works, paid a pound for that, I'm going to bundle it up with me others that I've got because I've got one on for sale at the moment and I've got about two of us up in the loft that it's filthy and need to clean. I'm going to bundle them up as a job lot. That is so mean, it's filthy. So, okay, so the next, this, well, this is the last item. Paid £2.50 for this stamp and I did have a look quickly in the shop. It's even got the instructions in there, look. I don't even know if it works. I have to get some. I've got some ink pads somewhere, but it's like proper old school. It's a. What did it say? New me numbering, not new. Numbering machine. So I don't know why anybody would want that, but I think it's about fifteen pounds when I looked at that. So I thought, oh, I'll have that. I say it's got the box and everything, and they even got the instructions. So yeah, I'm proper pleased with all the stuff, especially that. That is brilliant. I'm over the moon with that if it sells. Just hopefully it sells. I mean, I checked all the discs and everything. It's proper hard to open. Mission to open, but all the discs were there. 
that's what I do now because sometimes I've scanned stuff and it's come up really good and then I've opened it and half the bloody discs are missing but they're all in here it's so hard to open they're all there so yeah I'm pleased with that like I said the other one where is it there's one down there that one's not worth as much I don't know mind you I suppose that's quite bigger in it look it's got there's loads in there so that's it that's all my bargains that I've got over the past week or so so I'm going to try and get all these online today so thank you all for watching thank you to everyone who subscribed if you're new to my channel if you consider subscribing even that would be great thank you so whatever you're doing for the rest of the day have a good day everyone have a good week selling as well <laughs> see you later bye sorry i'm back yeah um i forgot to ask for any thumbs up if you like this video please could you give it a thumbs up if you don't like this video please don't give me a thumbs down you can if you want but i'd rather you didn't but yeah thank you again for watching it, I, it is very much appreciated if like you want to subscribe if you haven't subscribed please could you subscribe if you want to give me this video a thumbs up i'll be over the moon and leave a comment i do read and try and comment on your comments and i've got a i did notice i had a few comments on my video yesterday which i've got to respond to so thank you to everyone for that so i forgot to tell you this i had to practically take this off a lad not take it off him but i was at the other side of the shop when i heard this lad playing with this so I hovered around him for ages till the little bugger put it down. He wouldn't put it down. I thought, you're not buying it. Piss off. Because <laughs> yeah. his mum was getting a refund on something. She was at the till for ages. But he was playing with his for ages and it was like really annoying. So I could do my thumbnail now with that. Do you think that could be my thumbnail? I don't know. Thumbnail? Thumbnail? I don't know. It could be this or something else. So I'll pretend that's my thumbnail. Okay, bye then. <laughs>